Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to the engagement series, Endless Romance. I'm so glad you can join me. Welcome back or welcome if this is your first time. So today I'm going to show you guys how I DIY my engagement party letters, and you can actually do this for a wedding as well. I use gold paint and white paint. It's both acrylic. I'll have the exact names down below. This was probably my favorite tool of the DIY. It was my favorite because it was so beautiful. It's a pen, so you can be more exact with your gold leaf, but the finish was amazing and I really, really loved it. So I started by using my white paint because I knew exactly how I wanted my letters to look or I thought I knew exactly how I wanted my letters to look. I basically did the very bottom of the letters all white in each one and that's what you see me doing here. Um, and I will say take your time with this part and I did about three or four coats on each letter. I got these letters from Michaels. They were originally $9 each, but um, I caught them on sale. They were like 70% off, so I only paid like $2 and I think 70 cents for them. I'll find them on their website for you guys and link the um, exactly which letters these are in the description box in case anybody wants to check these out. So as you can see, I also painted the top of my letter white, but I kind of didn't like that in the end. So I'll show you guys how I ended up preferring it. Um, and I also switched over to a sponge when doing the sides of my letters because the sides of this of these particular letters were kind of uh, more grainy and they weren't super smooth so it was easier for me to get the paint in the crevices of the letters with the sponge and I'll show you guys exactly how I did that here I basically dabbed it on and then I switched from side to side and that's how I got it onto the letter it was easy after the it was easier to put on after the very first coat but if you have trouble with your letters give this a try let me know if it works for you Although I don't plan on showing the very backs of my letter, I also didn't want to leave the wood exposed. So I painted the backs of all of my letters um, white and I did a couple coats for that as well, maybe three or four, just like the very front. And um, so even if I prop them up somewhere or I choose to hang them up, I'll have the option of doing either and the wood won't be exposed. Here I'm showing you guys how I painted the inside sides of the letters. Because these letters are super dimensional and they have a lot of detail, there's so much more that you can do with them. I decided to paint the inside of them gold. So just like the outside edges are lined with gold, I did the inside the same way and I did the exact same um, technique because the inside was kind of grainy as well. And um, that's what you see me doing here, just swishing the paint from side to side, picking a lot up and swishing it from side to side because that was super easy for me to do. Whereas the other way of just trying to brush paint like you would if you were painting a canvas, it didn't work too well. Okay, so here we are almost done with our letters and initially I really wanted my letters to pop and I thought maybe a gold outline on a white um, inside would make the um, make the letter pop. But after I outlined this, I really didn't know if I liked it. And normally when I'm done with the DIY, I immediately love it. So I was kind of sad that I didn't like it. So after accidentally kind of filling in this letter um, near the curve, I was like, oh, maybe I should fill these in. I asked my fiance's advice, he totally agreed. So I ended up going back to all of the letters that I had outlined and I feel started filling them in so that's what you're gonna see me doing here and after I did that I was like this was definitely what I should have done the first time around so guys have fun with your letters make sure you're doing what you want to do because you can change your mind at any time and they'll probably still come out beautiful and if if you don't like them in the end there's always a remedy to fix it
And here is the finished product. Oh my God, guys, they came out so much better than I expected. I thought they would be a cute little accent for somewhere in the engagement party, but they turned out so great. If you guys recreate this, please, please, please let me know. I would love to see them. You can put these anywhere in your engagement party and they will stand out. That's the best part about this. I have been enjoying this series and I have been loving showing you guys my DIY. So please stay tuned for more. Thank you so much for watching again. Have a great morning, a great evening, and a great night. Bye, guys.